Hi, in the last video, I have shown you how to download an image from the internet and show that in your app programmatically. In this video, I will go ahead and demonstrate how to save the downloaded image in your SD card. So let's get started. Open Android Studio and click Open an existing Android Studio project. Select the last created project and click OK. Go to mainactivity.java Here I will call a method and pass the bitmap object to save it in the SD card. I will name the method save image. So write save image bitmap. Click here and press alt enter and select create method save image select the first option first create a path string where you want to place your picture string path equals to environment dot get external storage public directory Inside that pass environment dot directory underscore pictures then call to string. You don't really need to place a picture in directory underscore pictures, but it may be helpful with other media types to classify your media for display to the user since the media scanner will see all media in these directories. Next, create a new file instance with the folder name you specify. Write file my directory equals to new file for path name write our path string and concatenate that with the folder name of your choice. Give a forward slash and write saved images. Test whether the folder exists or not. If it does not exist, create it. If not, my directory dot exists my directory dot mkdir create an image file name using java dot text dot simple date format class this class is used to both parse and format dates according to a formatting pattern you specify so write string timestamp equals to new simple date format. For pattern, I'll be using yyyy, four digits for year, then dash mm, two digits for month, then dash dd, two digits for date, underscore hh, two digits for hour, mm for minutes, and ss for second. Then call format and pass new date object string image name equals to timestamp and concatenate that with the image extension dot jpg Next, create a new file instance from a parent path name string and a child path name string. My directory calls to new file my directory comma image name. Next, we need a file output stream object for writing the bitmap to a file. 
so write file output stream file output stream equals to new file output stream and pass my directory click here press alt enter and select surround with try catch next write a compressed version of the bitmap to the specified output stream by calling compress on bitmap object so write bitmap dot compress for compress format write bitmap dot compress format dot jpeg for quality i am going to use 90 and for output stream object write our file output stream now it's a good practice to flush the output stream in case you replace your stream with another implementation that does use it so write file output stream dot flush click here press alt enter and select add catch clauses finally close the stream by writing file output stream dot close next go to android manifest add write permission on external storage in manifest so write uses dash permission android dot permission dot write underscore external underscore storage run the application to see the output open device file explorer go to storage emulated zero and pictures here as you can see there is no file in it now click on download image button as you can see the image has been downloaded now right click on pictures and click synchronize here you can see the folder saved underscore images has been created and the image has also been created just double click to open the image file here you can see the image and you can also right click on it and save as inside your desktop Thanks for watching. If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.